Hello there, my beloved Ascension Pioneers. Happy 12, 12, 12 to everyone all around the world, to all you beloved Pioneers. So we are at the day, on the day of 12, 12, 12, the gateway of light. It is sort of like a portal of unification and unity, and it's a merging point of entry into our divine self. We are merging with our human self. You know, they're both merging as one. Um, in this awareness, there is a knowing that uh, we are already there. We know this now. It's not somewhere to be or something to do. We're just remembering who we truly are, and it's about being our, our authentic self. The new grid, the new earth grid, and our grid of the new crystalline matrix body and our new awareness is already there, and we're just stepping into it. We're just aligning with it and with our own internal grid for the new life. So the days between the today, the 12, 12, 12, and the 21st of December are to be spent, you know, in as much peace as possible, you know, as much bliss and joy to bring that peace, the desired peace, which we're being all called to do, um, to be. And, um, you know, it's just to bring that desired outcome within our journey. And uh, we each know ourselves how to do this, how to go through this, how to go through this portal, how to go through this gateway. There are many things, many meditations, even global meditation, so much. And I'm not going to be focusing so much on this. I'll bring you a message that I have received today as I have been sourcing my own spirit message in the morning when I woke up. And I'll share with you some other things, what this is about. So um, we know how to best anchor this into our beingness. And um, it's natural to us. So we don't have to seek the answer what to do. There's been others who have been asking me how to do this. And there's no such special way. You know how, what to do in the way how you want to be. You're guided through your beingness. So we don't have to really do anything special. We just have to anchor into that, tap into that awareness. So yesterday I was writing about this and what 12, 12, 12 is about. And afterwards... Um, you know, after putting my video online yesterday, I received a beautiful love letter um, from a sister of light. And I'll also share that with you, what that has triggered within me and how that is so crucial for all of us who are stepping into our roles as co-creator beings here now. And also in so many ways through our unique attributes, we're helping to guide others. So this is what I wrote yesterday about the awareness of new life, which is very crucial. And I've been explaining this in my last video, but I'm also guided to read a few parts of it. So what is the awareness of the new life like? Up until now, like I explained in my previous video, we were all more or less used to being sort of like predestined, things being predestined and certain things, you know, they're meant to happen and they were predetermined or agreed upon, you know, by us by our divine blueprint so we were not so much used to taking charge of everything in our lives you know sometimes it felt like it was just how it's supposed to be and like we have no control and um, we were relearning you know through gaining trust faith and patience and this came through our divine remembrance our human part did not have so much control so it felt at times you know um, because a lot of the things in our lives were chosen on a soul level so we call this predestined I remember uh, reading to all of you who were there with me at that time from the book called Your Soul's Plan for This Journey from Robert Schwartz. Um, but um, these were all things to bring us exactly where we are right now, where we are needed to be. We are at a conclusion of one cycle waiting for a new one to begin. And what is now changing is that our human part shall take on more responsibility because at the same time we're anchoring more of our divine self you know, our I am, and they're emerging as one. So, of course, it feels like our human self will have more responsibility, so more co-creation through the divine and divine will. So we are merging our divine and human self, our mind and heart, according to the alignment with the universal mind and heart, and we are merging spirit and matter, and that is just what is happening. The non-physical and physical part of all that is are being unified. We are also remembering how it is to be a fully conscious, self-responsible, co-creator, divine human being, which as I mentioned in a previous video, this really won't be difficult for us. It's very natural because we've been going so far. We've been in training of some sorts. We are also um, embodying more of our beloved I am, and that is why it's an easy transition if we only remember that it can be a very smooth one. So the unique I am presence we are in joining in as one group I am. 
This is what we are anchoring and embodying right now at the end of this current cycle, at the threshold of a new dawn. This is what the end of the calendar or the end of the times, you know, the end of days really truly means. And this is what the new paradigm truly is. And this is what our true self truly feels like. Before we were maybe more guided to, you know, make the initiates through our inner guidance. We might say our external guides or our cheerleaders, so-called angels, the angelic team. And um, now, you know, we're going to be more in a role of a co-creator being. We're going to remember how it is to be that being who co-creates, not just, you know, follows a certain guidance. So what is going to happen is um, we will feel more like a sense of ourselves without the need to wait for guidance to come first. We're just going to patiently and with trust move ahead. Our journey, you know, just pave the way, you know, without really doubting it. So now instead of tuning in and seeing what we're guided towards, we're going to be invited to create from our pure core essence and ask to trust as we move along our journey. It might sometimes feel like a blank piece of paper, like a blank leaf. It's like you just have it there and you're the one who has to write it each day in a unique way, each now moment, you know, because this is exactly what it is. It's a clean slate. It's in every now moment. So we still have divine companions on our journey, of course, not just the angelics and um, the galactics and all of the teams <laughs> who are one with us in this journey, but also divine companions on our spiritual journey here on Earth. But we are going to step further into our role, definitely as co-creator beings, as light ambassadors. And it's like, a, like I said, I mentioned that it's like a party for ascension. So when I was speaking about some of the things and how I do things and how I guide and... Um, I received this love letter from a beautiful sister of light and it moved me so much. I started crying, I'm still crying today in meditation before starting my automatic writing. I was crying again because I felt I was shown by my inner spirit, the impact that my spirit has here on earth to all of you and to everyone because I have received so many responses, you know, so many beautiful letters of people um, thanking me for being here, just, you know, for triggering their own divine remembrance. So just basically through my inner divine remembrance, I'm igniting the spark. But sometimes, you know, when there was maybe uh, from all the amazing, beautiful love letters that I received from so many beautiful spirits and all you ascension pioneers that I always knew I'm here to help guide on your journey in a way. Still, you know, if there was a negative letter, which was maybe one out of 50, not even that, maybe one out of 100, if you say, you know, look at it in frequency. I still, in a way, was not so much empowered, and that is why I had those experiences, because we placed them to remember what is maybe still not totally enlightened with the truth. Full self-empowerment, you know, I was teaching self-empowerment, you know, through my own embodiment of it. And then again, there were a few aspects, which, of course, because of feeling so much pressure sometimes, and a lot of the negativity, which is still here on this planet, it's not going away. It's being in transition. It's being in flux. Sometimes I feared, I say, okay, if I say, if I claim my divine birthright, the role I came here to do on this planet, then maybe sometimes people will perceive it as ego because they don't understand. But imagine everyone who came here to share the truth within the light of one. They all had these probably challenges to overcome because it's not about what others think. It's not about what others tell you to do. It's not about how they perceive. It's about those who are willing to hear. It's about those who are here to embrace this truth. And one of those is this beautiful sister of light who have noticed me, who has noticed the energy shifts within me, who has noticed certain patterns. And um, it's not just about me. The part of the letter, which is really beautiful and long, I would like to read because it's addressing all of you. And after that, after that, I put a status on my Facebook and I was so amazed to receive so much you know, Ascension Pioneers responses who are claiming. And I was like really amazed because so many souls are aware of their role. You know, we were in preparation, you know, and this is what my new note about the gateway of light 12, 12, 12 is about. And I'll read it to you just after I finish reading this letter, part of it. And after I put that status on, I see so many responses and so many people claiming their divine birthright and they're remembering why they came here. And many times in my videos, especially in my most recent videos, I was saying that it's not about labels and it's true. But what my sister of light has emphasized in this letter of hers is also very important because we're still here on earth. Language is still a way of how we interact, how we communicate. And I was also discussing this with my beloved yesterday after this. 
And I never liked the word teacher because it implies that someone else can teach you. And it's not true. Remember the quote of Socrates? He said, I cannot, I cannot teach anyone anything. I can only make them think. You know, it just ignite their own fire, their own fire, the flame of divine remembrance. And the word I best and always resonated was, was a guide. And my sister of light reminded me of that. And for all of you, it's very important right now because you'll see it. I wrote it in a note through my spirit. This is a message for all of us pioneers. It came through what is important on our part of this journey now, what we're moving into. And it's very important for us to claim our energy space, to claim the role we have chosen before coming here, um, to no more, you know, stay behind the curtains hide in the closets. I know there's so many beautiful spirits out there who also may be hiding more, who are afraid to express everything to others out of fear that they'll, you know, think of it as wrong or weird, or they'll even mark them as weird and they want to embrace them. They want to accept them. But the only person who has to accept us is us through our own divine self. You know, it only matters that you walk the path of truth and then staying really faithful to it, you know, really. And the, the issue that it was still there in me, a part, a tiny part, a tiny spectacle was still, you know, fearing that total, total um, coming out, total <laughs> self-recognition and maybe recognition from others. There were so many others who recognized me as such, but I was always, you know, negating it, you know. But it's true, we're all unique and we have chosen what we have chosen. And this is what this portal of unification is about. It's about embracing your unique role and knowing that within this uniqueness, there's also oneness. Because if I don't have this part of mine and I don't play it right according to my divine self and my human self together, then I'm not contributing to the whole. You know, that is what it's about. So my beloved sister wrote, she wrote it that she's addressing me and she said, when will you release the resistance to express that you're a guide, a true guide for all who love you, to walk with, to gather, to co-create, to explore? You are a guide. Look deep within the windows of your soul. You have been guiding all of your life and on one hand there is a resentment for this gift and on the other hand you know it is true I'm starting to cry again i'm sorry and so much of who you are i know that labels are just labels this is the good part you know she really well explains what it is about here but isn't it true that if you call the rose a tulip after you knew her name was rose it would lose some of its vibration because it would be denying its name to which to call it Sure, humans place the name on her, but let's face it, we live in a world of humans and we need to acknowledge the gift of the human language. Like I said, we need to also embrace the human part of our journey, not just the divine self, which is formless, you know? If we were to muscle test your body and call you Carol, your body would recognize Carol as a false name to you, Polona. Science tells us that muscle energy testing is a true god of truth. Please first for you, secondly for those that love you so much, claim your name and then come out of the closet and tell us who you are. <laughs> We're waiting and you're waiting for you. I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm really being emotional. Whenever I read her words, I just keep being reminded so much of the core and it really makes me feel so vulnerable, you know? It's like I've never expressed myself in that way. There were so many times when I thought that I'm expressing all of me, you know, but sometimes I felt, no, you're not expressing all of you. You know, you are who you are. The most authentic part of you is how you share yourself. It doesn't matter how it will come out. Sometimes it was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't put that in a video. Oh gosh. Or, you know, in my last video, I remember there was a phone ringing and I didn't, you know, delete it from the scene. I'm like, oh, I didn't delete the phone scene. Oh gosh. You know, and so what, you know, it's, it's just life. We can't stop the flow of it. We can't stop why we came here. We cannot change it. Sometimes, you know, there are parts that really feel comfortable and you want to hold on to that comfortable. You know, you don't want to come out in the full light because, you know, then you're very, really vulnerable because you're so exposed. And it's already being very much exposed when you do things this way. And um, it's here for all of us, this message, you know, show your vulnerable side. Don't be afraid of ridicule from others, of you know, feeling shame for expressing your full light. <laughs> so it's not just about needs for all of us because we share this journey. So my sister called, said this to me, I see your beauty and wisdom. It's not that easy for others who have not been called to see what you see. Deny it all you want. You're gifted to gift others. And the reason why I'm sharing this gift is because I also see you and your divine beauty and 
I wouldn't be here sitting every day when I can to do these videos and write all these writings because, you know, we all come here for ourselves, but we're not so much called to write these messages um, just for us. Sometimes, you know, the things I write, they're so much for the collective, for all. They're not just for me. They're always this voice saying, share, share, share. And I'm always guided to share. Sometimes it leaves me really tired because I share so much and I express so much. And sometimes I say, oh, you know, I just want to live a simple life. And you know what? You might fear the same thing, but know this. If I can do it, if I can merge my human and my divine self, if I can claim the birthright of both, because I am both, you know, many people in my life, not just, you know, over the internet, in, in my physical life, have really put me on the pedestal. They have idolized me. And I wrote this in my biography and my webpage. And it's not about that. It's about seeing the reality, the absolute reality of who we are. And that is the divine self that created this human self part of us, the creation part of ourselves. So it's for you too. I want to share this jewel of wisdom of this love letter because it just, you know, keeps me want to cry because it's coming out whenever you cry, whenever you have goosebumps, know that this is the truth. Okay, it's always the truth being felt through you and this, this deep sense, you know, of inner knowing. So after that, I wrote a beautiful message for all of you and I got so many responses for all you pioneers. And I see when you claim your role when you claim yourself your energy what you're here for in a unique you know a unique part within the grander whole there is no grander whole within that without that unique part one of what's claiming it others are claiming it and the whole vibration of the whole lifts up so i wrote that with the 12 12 12 gateway of light and unity consciousness the completion of the number 12 and stepping into our personal vortex we are claiming our divine role on this planet well, so what i feel is that all that was until now was like a preparation for what is yet to come in this new cycle. And many have been feeling this, that this is like something more is behind this curtain. There's more that they're, you know, living for and preparing for. So many people were reporting this to me. Now we shall be called to take a step further and align with our true divine purpose. You know, claim it, really claim it, not dream of it. We have been dreaming for so long. Now it's time to take the steps. No rush, no hurry. Every now moment you will create a part of it. We have each chosen a general role within this new paradigm. You know, for me, I'm not just this guide. I'm so much more. And, you know, the one who shares the most intimate parts of your life, for me, that is my beloved. We'll see this, all of you. You're from the simplest part of you, which is no doing at all, to the most cre creative parts of you, which is doing in your unique, special way. You know, so we're everything, but at the same time, we're not to be afraid anymore to step into what we have chosen for the grander collective because we are essential pioneers. We have each chosen this general role, like I said, and this is our unique contribution to the greater whole. It's time to stop hiding and come out of the closet. So I am an ascension guy, you know, it's, it's, it's who I am. It's what I love doing without it. I get miserable. So it means, <laughs> it means a whole lot. And at this point, I would like to read you the 12, 12, 12 gateway of light message that came to me today. And it's for all of us. And it's a beautiful message of encouragement of our true selves. Beloved spirit of the I am, today is a powerful gateway of light, a new life. What message can I bring through on this day? There are so many beings of light gathering on this day. day. Not everything is seen to the eyes of the individual, but yet there is so much occurring behind the scenes. The unseen is slowly becoming the seen, and the non-form is shifting into form. There are so many amazing beings of light on this planet right now who are responsible for so many of these shifts, not just those above and around the earth plane of the earth's plane. You are the ones who are being acknowledged from within to without. Thank you for the acknowledgement, everyone. You are the ones who are stepping into your roles here on this beautiful planet. You are the ones who are being recognized as way showers, pillars of light, gatekeepers and guides, triggers of the divine remembrance and pioneers of your own unique kind. Each one is a blessing of its kind and each one brings unique gifts and talents so there is no more need for comparison, thinking others or yourself to be better or worse and even suppressing or denying your own power in its full essence. These are the times when all is coming to light by the divine plan. 
And it's time to claim your roles here in this planet and deeply and without any shame, blame, and regret, step into your roles as divine ambassadors of light. The time has come. The preparations have been intense, and yet they have brought so much wisdom, which is knowledge transformed into form. They have brought the needed and necessary divine remembrance, which is needed for the next step of the journey. Are you all ready? <laughs> you just have to show up and claim what you have already chosen before coming here. You have all been preparing for this time, and you knew and were well informed about the much-needed endurance, strength, and patience, but you also knew that you could do it. <laughs> you can do it, and you are already doing it. Each one has placed certain stepping stones, which are all served to laying the foundations for this challenging and yet so wonderful time in human history. History of this gorgeous planet and also the entire universe. That is the whole gift. It is not just Gaia itself. The entire universe is shifting into a new cycle, a new era. Many are now stepping into their true inner power and are embracing their co-creator abilities, for they have remembered that this is their divine birthright. Many are now starting to fully embody their authentic self, capital S, which is what Ascension is truly about, the embodiment of the beloved I am. So, gather up and celebrate, the time is now here. It is the conclusion, the completion that is now here, but yet it is not over, for it is actually just the beginning of a new chapter, a new way of life, a new but yet deeply known and felt divine purpose, a unique spark within the greater whole within all that is. So use this portal of 12, 12, 12 as an entry point into this new and an early start of the 21st of 12, so on the December solstice. These are amazing times and as the Earth's magnetic field is thinning, more of the divine light is entering the planet and transforming every life form in a subtle and yet profound way. So feel this light divine, allow it to fully flow through all of you and know that you're exactly where you need to be. You have chosen this, and now all you have to do is trust this choice and trust yourself, as yourself is now the self, the capital S. You are one, you are a divine human being, you are fully aware of your creation nature through your divine divinity, and you are spreading the light of this truth to all, to every aspect of life. Enjoy. Well, I do wish you so many enjoyment in this process of becoming a butterfly, the violet is the color of transformation. You may also feel the desire to work with the violet flame and during these days we're coming closer to the solstice. I've always felt that these holidays are going to be very special because we're not just celebrating the usual Christmas and New Year, but a new new way of being. You know, it's just starting. It's not going to be, you know, happening overnight. But it is the beginning and the beginning, you know, when they, for instance, when the runners start running in the marathon, when they cut, you know, through the scissors, cut through the plastic, you know, the wrapping, this is where we are now. We're starting, you know, we're like jumpstart. It's like a jumpstart for all of us. Um, so the thing is, I would also like to share um, a wonderful note from Kara, um, the last Ascension note, the last, which was about also 12, 12, 12 gateway. And it's amazing because I always see that I first do my own writings. I leave, leave the note open. I, I don't always read it the first day I receive it in my inbox. I read it like two or three days later. And then I see when I read through her notes, it's very much similar to what I've been saying. And I always get confirmation like this because as she is a wonderful Ascension guide and she claims it. So I know that I am and you are all an amazing role that you have chosen and you're doing it and you're walking it. It's not the whole of you, but it is like this aspect of you that without full expression of it would never be your full authentic self, you see? So um, the link to the uh, her note, I will share below. This video is already long enough, so I won't be reading it. Um, I wanted to read a short paragraph first, but now I won't have the time. And the one thing that I would really like to do is to get out the um, what is Ascension, you know, on my front page, on my web page, so that everyone who enters it, you know, besides the usual messages or the, you know, the I have the words of, you know, when I'm addressing all of you pioneers who enter this and find out about my web page and my work of service. And also when I add like this portal, you know, um, 
like portal of entering different ascension topics. Um, I would like to explain what is ascension in general and provide links, for instance, Kara's links and other links that will resonate with. I'll try to gather all of that up. And all of you who are still going through that transition can see that there and will have a direct, you know, point of entry. So you can use that on your journey as well. And I'll try to do that in divine timing, of course. Um, I'll try to also this week, because it's a week when the full, the new moon is starting tomorrow, right after this 12-12-12 gateway. And I'll try to also do a light activation for this, which will be um, connected with this gateway and the beginning, which is already tomorrow with the new moon. I try to do a light activation. I was guided to do it. And uh, you can expect it in divine timing also here and on my Facebook page. And uh, also forum for Ascension Pioneers is probably in the making this week. We just have to edit some of the topics and announce it very shortly. So I hope you're enjoying your beautiful spark of uniqueness. And I'll talk to you very soon. Enjoy your gateway. Bye. Much love.